She fills up my balloon. Boom, she said, hit it. I grab the balloon, then here goes nothing. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not encourage or promote anything shown in this video. Please do not try at home. Thanks. What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another five video. Hey, hey guys, guys, calm down, calm down. I'm about to tell y'all this story, bros. Like, I don't know. Hey, remember, guys, do not try at home. This is for educational purposes only. Uh, I do not encourage you to promote anything shown in this video. What's that smell, What's that smell in here? here? Bitches that gas. Whole lot of choppers that be on your ass. I was in the back of the class with the racks and the packs in the back. Gotta get us on the map. I used to do super things back then, you know. That's how I tried acid for my first time. If y'all want to hear that story, you know, make sure y'all let me know in the comments. Maybe drop a like. Um, I did really dumb things when I was younger, you know. I was just, I was in a point in time in my life where if my homies did it and I, I seen they were good, then I thought that it was okay to do it. When really, that's not how it's supposed to be, you feel me? So, this is what ended up happening. Back then, I ain't have a lot of money, and I ain't have a lot of gas, you know. I ain't have nothing, you know, to my name, really. All I had was just nothing. <laughs> I ain't have hope. I ain't have nothing to think of or look forward to. So, I would just do dumb things, you know, like, you know, things I regretted in life. Trying the balloon was one of them. So, I went to this one school. By the way, I failed eighth grade. And if y'all don't know about that, then that's just... I felt 8th grade y'all and it was the worst because I just failed because I was never going to school. I was skipping school from since 2nd grade I was skipping school. So I was just not learning, skipping school, not doing the star test, not doing um, the tax test. I don't know if y'all remember that's what they used to call it. I didn't do none of that bro. I was always in juvenile uh, around those times when that came up. So long, long story short, I flunked 8th grade and instead of being in the west side for my 8th grade again, I actually went to another side because they tore down our apartments so back then you know how middle school relationships be it's really weird and it's like really fast you know what i'm saying so from this girl then her friend wanted to get with me so I, boom i get with v and then um um this girl i didn't know that her big oh no no her uncle was my brother's homie so her uncle's chilling, I know him, chopping it up. And then I see D, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? I'm, I'm itching my head, like, who's this? Boom, he's like, oh, this is my niece or something like that. So basically, her mom's brother is my homie's homie. My brother's homie, oh, I'm so confused. He told me that she, his mom and his dad doesn't like her dating, that they fucking made her eat love notes and shit. It was all bad, so I'm like, damn that i had to break up with her soon as i do that I, I get with v then out of nowhere v breaks up with me nigga. like what this this girl breaks up with me out of nowhere like literally out of nowhere though and um she just comes up to me and she just says like she can't do this no more i'm like what the fuck what are you talking about dumped by v so that's just i wanted to let y'all know who v was you know what i'm saying it's a girl who dumped me v and all the other homies like i know some other homies they knew this one girl called a and um this girl, A, man, I remember. She had some, you know what I'm saying? She, she was, she had some junk in her trunk, you feel me? Well, actually, she had big titties, but I don't even know what I say. So I met A, and um, A and V always hung out. So every time I would be out there, I, I used to run the block. So what, do you, what that means is just I used to always walk the block, man. We had three stores to go to. I have, I have four, four fingers. Three stores. You stupid. Um, through V. So, A man, she has some some big, you know what I'm saying? Some doo doo doo. -doo. <laughs> she has some big things, man. No cap. I always remember that. And now she got a kid. So, damn, that's fucked up. But I don't even know. Anyway, uh, what's I talking about? Man? Oh yeah. So that's how I met A through V, and they would just always hang out with each other. You know how girls be like they just home girls and shit. So it was them two. And it was one hot ass day from school, man. I remember. You know those hot ass days where it's just like so hot, you about to pass out, you need some water and shit. It was one of those days. And we had like a little ass blunt too of Reggie. Back then it was all Reggie. I don't know about y'all, but back then over here it was Reggie. So we walk in the homies apartments, right? And um, I'm I'm hot as shit. I can't wait to smoke this blunt. And it was boring and shit. It was just one of those days, man. I hate those days, honestly. Like I used to think, like, damn, I miss school. 
But honestly, it was kind of boring if you really, really think about it. You know what I'm saying? And so basically, I, I motherfucking, uh, I get off the school bus, we dip and we inside homies' apartments. Why are we at homies' apartments, not mine? It's because the bus stop only stops at his spot. So I have to walk all the way to my apartment. It's kind of stupid, but it's whatever. Better than walking home. Anyway, I motherfucking get off the bus. And like I told y'all, it's a hot ass day. We in his apartments. We walking. We can't even go inside that nigga's crib because his dad's like, I don't know, he's like strict. I remember his dad used to let no one in the crib, but when that nigga was asleep, we were running that bitch. We'll take all the beers and we'll run out though. Anyway, anyway, we in his apartments. He can't even get nothing to drink. He can't, he, he's locked out, bro. That's like, that's the type of shit his dad would do, like lock him out and shit. It was like, his dad didn't even want them living with him. It was stupid. So I'm with my homie C, we walking through the apartments and um, I'm ready to smoke this little gram of blunt of Reggie, you know what I'm saying? So I'm ready to get lit. And as soon as I'm about to spark up, bro, I see these two girls, A and V, and they're chilling. They're, they look like they're smoking. I seen smoke come out of A's mouth, right? So I'm like, all right, bet, look, they're smoking, nigga, let's go match them. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go, boom. Walk up to them, and like, what's up, what's up, yaddy, yaddy. What you smoking on? I see A, she's in the grass tripping, nigga. Like, she's literally like crisscross applesauce in the grass. And I'm like, what the fuck kind of meditation, man? What's going on? What y'all smoking on? And I thought they were smoking a the blunt. They are trying to hide it from us. So they have a balloon. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, y'all smoking a balloon or what? What y'all smoking on? And I'm like, I thought they hid it from us or something. They're like, nah, look. That's what V said. V, like, my ex. She's like, nah, look. This is yaddy, yaddy. Uh, we get it from here. She said it just like that, nigga. I forgot specifically what she said, but she talked just like that. She shows me the fucking AC unit. If y'all hot as shit and y'all AC not working, bro, y'all, y'all, this is what happened. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? But this girl took the AC unit thingy, majinger, linger, and she filled it up from the balloon. It was a motherfucking red balloon. I remember like it was yesterday. She said, it fills up the balloon, right? I'm like, all right, bet. I ain't hit it yet. She hits it. <sighs> and like smoke came out like this. I'm like, what the fuck? She smoking? I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, let me try that. She's like, it gets you high. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Like, I was not believing her. Like, how does that get you high? There's no way. I was young in the mind. I didn't know that. If you do dumb things, then, you know, dumb things could happen. So, I motherfucking, I'm like, nah. It, it, let me try it. And even my homie, uh, C was gonna try it. So, I'm like, all right, bet. We about to get down. So, long story short, she fills up my balloon. Fill up my balloon, fool. Boom. She said, hit it. I grabbed the balloon. Then here goes nothing. I fucking hit it. And I inhaled it for a long time, too. I remember like a dumbass. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't think it was going to get me high, so. All right, y'all. So, um, camera died next day. But, uh. Yeah, it's raining now. I hope y'all don't mind. Maybe y'all want to see, like, nah, y'all don't want to see that. Anyway, but, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, so, basically, I held a balloon. <sighs> Boom. As soon as I blow that shit out, I remember. Instant, man. I just remember blowing that shit out, and as soon as I blew it out, boom. I just felt it. <coughs> I remember. <coughs> As soon as I blow that shit out, boom, that shit hit me, bro. I, I was wondering why that girl A was in the, in the, in the grass crisscross applesauce tweaking. I didn't know why she was sitting on the floor. So I'm like, all right, I, I thought she was tweaking. I hit that shit, I start tweaking. I, I hit it, boom. It felt like literally, I'm going to tell you, it felt like 200 pounds just came to my shoulders. Like a fat dude just came and tried to jump on my back. That's what it felt like, I promise you. So boom, I just feel like there's 200 pounds of weight that just, it was straight dead weight. Like it was fucking weird. It was like, you feel the weight in your body that you never ever felt in your life. Like you actually feel how much you weigh. You know what I'm saying? Like it felt like your soul was carrying your body. Like, it was hard to explain. But I'm like, damn, I feel that shit instantly. I sit down and I remember it was on the concrete right by the street. And my homies are like, oh, oh, oh. that's how I remember before I seen everything black out. So it just, it just turned all black and I blacked out. And then as I woke up or as I got out of the blackout, it started winning from the black and it went to the white. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? And um, 
apparently I blacked out for 15 seconds and uh I never had this happen before I've never really understood what happened that day you know what I'm saying guys but I just know that as soon as that happened as soon as I got awakening um the high went away so it was like a 15 second high per se you know it was really quick and that's why they say fill up my balloon full because it, it doesn't last long Tie me up. <laughs> You're already tied up, man. Hey, fill up my balloon again. Stop playing. Fill it up. Ah, there Quit you playing. Go. That nigga gun gotta kick rocks so serio. It's not like a high. That lasts for hours, okay? So, I did this. After I woke up and realized that what just happened, I was like, what the fuck? And they're still trying to do it tweaking now, bro. I said I wasn't gonna nausea no more, but look at me. I'm fucking nausea it. And I'm just looking. I, I, I look at C, and I, I'm like, all right, your turn, bro. C ain't even want to do it. C was, he was like, nah, I ain't doing that shit. And that sucks, bro, because I thought he was getting to do it too and you know what i'm saying so i ended up just doing it by myself and that wasn't even the end of the story bro so after doing that i still didn't know all the side effects completely i thought that it would that was it you know and especially those girls those girls didn't even know the side effects of this either hey you think he'll call the fucking cops you don't even know what the fuck noise is <laughs> so they were doing it back to back back to back i only did it one time so i ironically go to my homie black's house not ironically, but I ironically talk to him about something that has to do with him. So, I go to his house, and he's like an older guy. He's like in his 30s, I believe. It was real cool, man. He, You know, I chopped it up with a bunch of OGs when I was younger. And it helped me get to like a certain grown state of mind because um i ain't have a i ain't have a mom i ain't have a dad so all the ogs on the block will always just guide me in certain ways that they could so i'm i'm with, I'm with black and he's just uh schooling me on some shit i talked to him about what i did you know i was like hey i saw, i smoked a balloon today it was weird i got high off of it he's like for real how and I'm like, bro, um, it was this thing from the AC. And he's like, what thing? And I'm like, I don't know, bro, but we filled it up with the balloon. And um, yada, yada, you know what I'm saying? And then he's all like, bro, are you talking about the Freon? And I'm like, I think so, bro. And he's like, bro, you're not supposed to smoke the Freon. That could freeze your lungs. Or inhale the Freon. I said smoke it, man. You can't smoke the Freon. But inhale the Freon. It could freeze your lungs. Obviously, it's Freon. I didn't know what we was doing, bro. It came from the AC see how the fuck I, I wasn't thinking straight so this whole time they're freezing their lungs they're damn near probably freezing their brain and it probably stops for 15 seconds you get a full body brain freeze that's probably what happened honestly that's an unexplainably dinger majinger linger so all these people in cali are now doing nos right it's this thing called nos or whatever and um uh we did freon back then so that was the balloon so basically these people are just filling up like chemicals in the balloon and inhaling it and that's not good even i've heard of people inhaling um multiple products and it's not good guys i'm here to tell y'all do not inhale it's not good um it's very bad for you the thing why you couldn't inhale freon it not only could it freeze your lungs but I looked up online that if you get startled while you're on Freon in the first 24 hours, you are most likely to have a heart attack. And that really scared me and I was like not trying to be startled for nothing. Like easy as a door slam, it could probably make you have a heart attack. So I told that to AMV and I tried to get them off of it. They didn't listen and I hope that they're doing better and I hope they're not on harder drugs. You know what I'm saying? Um, God bless everybody and yeah, make sure y'all stay blessed, man. Real talk. Um, I'm blessed. That I, I learned my lesson at a young age and I didn't have to go through an addiction you know what I'm saying guys like them they started walking around with trash bags it went from a balloon I started seeing these girls walk around with trash bags so it, it got really bad guys real talk so if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all drop a like we're having videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so be expecting a new video on Wednesday and after that be expecting a new video on Friday you don't believe me just tune in you will see I am back we're gonna be on this consistent train um yeah I can't wait to show y'all the next video it's fucking lit oh okay. gang